protests were held Wednesday in Yerevan demanding Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan's resignation while Armenia's parliament was holding a special session. Also, the protesters marched from the parliament building to the main building of the government and their demonstration ended there in Republic Square at the heart of the Armenian capital. To note, police forcibly apprehended several people during this protest, including Geram Manukyan, a member of the opposition Armenian Revolutionary Federation ARF Dashnaksutyum party. At Wednesday's special session of Armenia's parliament, the MPs passed a number of law initiatives in the first reading. These include a package of bills on amendments to the Judicial Code. During the session, Minister of Justice Rustam Badasyan noted that the amendments to the Judicial Code proposed to separate the oversight over the inner judicial trials from the examination of cases. Meanwhile, the protests held on Wednesday were aimed against this bill as the latter proposes to create a special court on issuing arrests. Thus, the opposition is sure that this initiative will help the authorities to take the power of the court and arrest the opposition members. Azerbaijan has cancelled Wednesday's search operations that were planned in the Fizuli and Jabrail regions of Nagorno-Karabakh. Meanwhile, the Armenian side found one fallen soldier's body on Tuesday in Hadrut town. To date, the bodies of 1,355 fallen servicemen and civilians have been retrieved. On Tuesday, the Artsakh Defense Army reported 116 more casualties from the Armenian side, thus bringing the respective death toll to 2,123. Over the past three years, about 82,000 Armenian citizens have received Russian citizenship. Dividing this by years, it will turn out that in 2018, over 27,000 people have been issued Russian passports, in 2019, 24,000, and in 2020, about 31,000 people. Russia has decided to resume air communication with Armenia as of February the 15th and on a reciprocal basis. Accordingly, there will be four flights a week between Moscow and Yerevan. South Australia state has recognized Artsakh, Nagorno-Karabakh, condemning Azerbaijan and Turkey. South Australia became the second Australian state to recognize the right of self-determination of the Republic of Artsakh. They condemned Azerbaijan and Turkey for their invasion of Artsakh's indigenous Armenians. A 30-year-old mother-to-be died in Yerevan in circumstances yet unknown. Bela Arshakyan, sister of the deceased mother-to-be Nelly Arshakyan, told News AM that Nelly had no health issues. According to her, Nelly had called her husband, telling him that she had been given an injection, after which her condition had sharply deteriorated. At dawn, my sister died, she added. The clinic, in turn, noted that the woman had suffered some health issues, and based on the diagnosis, she had received contraceptive treatment at the clinic. According to them, her husband was informed of the life-threatening danger to the fetus and the need for urgent abortion. The Moscow court has sentenced Russian opposition figure Alexei Navalny to prison for more than two and a half years, prompting protests all over the country. Navalny was detained two weeks ago upon his return to Moscow from Berlin, where he had spent several months recovering from poisoning, an attack he blames on Russian security services and President Vladimir Putin himself. The court ruled that while Alexei Navalny was in Germany, he had violated his probation terms from a case in 2014 in which he had received a suspended sentence of three and a half years.